and today we're going to review uh, Triple Frontier, Netflix brand new movie starring Ben Affleck, uh, Oscar Isaacs, who I like a lot, and Charlie Hunman, the Englishman, whose fame is from Son of Anarchy. Right, let's talk about this film. Uh, this film for me, directed by somebody who's been involved in a violent year, always had me worried because I'm not a great fan of a violent year. There's a lot of gaps and stuff that I didn't like about that movie. So along comes one of the most over-anticipated movies of the year from Netflix and the last few months actually. And I sat there and uh, it was interesting. Let's go through some of the interesting parts. First of all, Oscar Isaacs, who I'm a massive fan of. He's recently been starring in Star Wars films. And uh, I first saw him in uh, a thing on HBO about one a hero, about New York, about property developing. He won the Emmy for that. He's excellent. I've always been a big fan of him. Ben Affleck, I'm also a fan of because um, I think he's a fantastic uh, script writer. Um, I think he's a, a good actor and I don't care about who he's dated in the past. I actually think he's very good. The English guy, uh, Charlie, who's a son of anarchy, he's had a mixed uh, film career so far, being involved in the King Arthur film, which I thought was appalling. Anything with David Beckham as an actor in wasn't ever going to be that great. And Guy Ritchie wants shooting for that. But this film basically is around five friends who are special ops who get together for one last job. And the first part of the film is set that they're just going to go there and survey the job and look at what's going on. And they're going to get 17 grand for doing that. And some of them need 17 grand very quickly, especially Ben Affleck, who's separated from his wife. Uh, then, of course, it all gets involved. They do the job. I don't want to do spoilers, but... The film then carries on from taking care of a narcos type situation of a big drug cartel and they've got to get back to the States and it takes twists and turns. Now I've watched other people do reviews on this, I'm a little bit late on this one but that doesn't worry me uh, and they give away too much. I don't want to give away too much. Uh, they, they're Most of the reviews I've seen have been around the fact that the five casting, which is a big casting, there's a guy from um, Narcos, Pedro Pascual, he's very good. The, the casting is excellent. The cast is excellent. But the problem I have with this film is when I go to see a film about um, Narcos bosses or Narcos villains, I still like to see the villain. And I'm not giving anything away here when, when I'm telling you, you don't see the villain. And uh, all you feel is the presence. Now, that might be perceived by some people as to be clever because it's different and original. I don't see that. I think there's a lot of gaps in this. I think there's a lot of times the director needed a kick in the bollocks because I think the film needed to speed up. I like the idea of the friendship between all of them. I like that a lot. And I like the idea that they carried on trying to build a relationship around that they've always been together for many years. I'm going to give this film... I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. I expected to go higher than that. And 7 out of 10 for me is quite good. I just wished and looked upon the film to be a bit more detailed in in respective of what goes on afterwards and the ending looks like a sequel and you'll see when you watch it i just wanted a lot more it's the best way to explain it would be if you have a chinese meal some people are always hungry after the meal and that's how i felt about this film i just felt there should have been more and uh anyway at the end of the day it was a nice two hours and again netflix could have been released in cinemas again setting the bar high so well done to netflix um, what else have I been watching? I just watched The Boy Who Would Be King with my son. He loved it. I thought it was a bit okay. But living near Glastonbury, as cl close as I do, only eight miles away, and with the festival upon us soon, yeah, that uh, it was okay for me. It was interesting, uh, <clears throat> especially a sequence when they go on the top of Glastonbury and there's a tunnel underneath, which I love that. And my son thought it was fantastic. So guess what? You know what? It hit the bar with him. Um, what else am I still watching? Baptiste, which I love. I'm looking forward to Rocket Man because a friend of mine's directed that and I'm looking forward to seeing that. Uh, what else is there coming out? There's a few things coming out actually over the next few weeks I'm looking forward to. Um, the BBC, of course, have got their main series of the year coming out soon, which uh, I think is probably the best thing they've ever done for years. Uh, the, the Bodyguard was part of it. I'm trying to think of the name of it now anyway. It's about the police investigating about the police, and uh, it's fantastic, and uh, that's coming in the next couple of weeks. So I won't be on here for long. Just to tell you that I have watched Triple Frontier. I am going to give it a 7 out of 10. I wanted more. I didn't get more, but guess what? It was still enough to fill a gap, and uh, I enjoyed it. 
but I just think they could have done over the top a little bit more uh, detailed about certain things in it. But see what you think. Leave a comment. As always, thank you very much to my last video. Over 1,100 people have watched it. Thank you very much indeed to the last blog. If you'd like to subscribe, I'm more than happy. Uh, if you'd like to leave a comment, leave a comment. I have no problem. I have no issues. You can say, you know, what the hell are you on about? Or, yeah, I agree with you. Whatever you, I always reply. So have a great week. And if I see anything new coming out, because everything I seem to be offered is horror movies, which I'm not into, I stick with what I like in a certain genre. And as for Netflix, again, well done to them. And I'll speak to you all soon. Take care.